I think we're live everywhere. Hello, 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 everybody. It's Aramie from Aramie Makes and a welcome, welcome, welcome. We are streaming live on multiple platforms. So we're streaming live from Instagram and also from YouTube and Facebook for TLC Designs and Aramie Makes. And today we're going to be playing with some super fun interactive cards. This is one of the interactive cards. The Let me get the right dial here. Look at this. Look how fun this is. I love this. This is just so cool. So we're going to show you how to play and put this whole thing together. It's much easier than it seems. Believe me, it looks really like it feels like it should be complicated, but it really isn't. And it's all using the new springtime collection from TLC Designs. So welcome to the show. All right, we are back. Okay, so we are going to be playing with this really awesome card. Now, at first, I want to show you guys the bundle, but I got to switch Instagram. I got to switch the two cameras around. So bear with me while we switch around. But first, as always, all the links for the supplies are down in the information section. So make sure you check those out. And let's go ahead and flip our cameras. All right. So sorry, Instagram. I got to find a better way to maneuver this, but this is what I got for now. All right. Here we go. And then auto flip camera to the other one. So this is the really cool pro like this is the new springtime collection. This thing is so much fun. Downside to Instagram. Sorry if I can't see your can't see the questions Instagram has, but I'll be able to see them after. All right. So this is the new springtime collection. It is a bundle that comes with all of these amazing items. You get the pouch, which I think is super awesome. My kids keep snagging these every time I get one, which is hilarious. So you get the pouch. You also get this super cute little baggie right here. In this bag, you have a whole bunch of little, and she has jam-packed it, all these little shaker items and just fun little like sequins and beads, like lots of little cutie things, right? All kinds of fun stuff. You get a little sample of some ribbons. You get a couple little clips. And then you get these beautiful little butterflies. Aren't these adorable? I just love these. So that's part of the little kit. Let's put those off to the side so everybody can kind of see. And I'm not too thrilled with how close my camera is. So bear with me. I'm going to zoom this out just a titch, titch, titch. There we go. Make sure I'm focused. Ah, I hit something. That's what I do when I shoot. I hit something I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have messed with it. I am so, so. Arr. Sorry, guys. Okay. I'm going to flip this. So sorry. I am trying to fix my camera here. <laughs> You're going to bear with me for two seconds. Um, I have to. I shouldn't have messed with it. I was just like, oh, I want to have it be a little bit better, not so far out. And then I screw it up. Of course I screwed up. Okay. I think we're good. Sorry about that, everybody. Okay. Now you're seeing the, all the insides and outsides. I just was like, it was too close. And then I hit a button. Of course I hit a button. The joys of being live when I had everything set up. I shouldn't have messed with it. Should just let it be. Okay, we're good. It's a little wobbly now. Sorry about all that. Okay, so beyond all little doodads that are here, see all the little goodies, we also have a set of dies and stamps. So we have this really, really cute stamp set right here. Thank you guys. Sorry about that. This really, really cute stamp set. And I know you're thinking, well, it's Easter bunnies. Well, no, bunnies. I, I don't know about you guys, but I have so many bunnies in my backyard right now. It is insane the amount of bunnies my dog all we have to say is the word r-a-b-b-i-t or bunny and he's i'm not saying it in the voice i normally say it in and he will want to race in the backyard and go and chase them down so i love these two super cute little bunnies we also have some little radishes and some carrots it says the word spring so it totally just fits for all things spring and it says it gets you in your sorry Get you out of your head and working in the garden. Bloom in spring, make your heart sing. So this is definitely like go out and play in your garden. We also get the dies. I do have one pulled out because we're going to show you how to work with this particular die. This is the mechanism part of the, the die that for the stamp that we're using. So this is the actual mechanism that we're going to be playing with. So if you can see that little inside piece right there, that's partly what we're seeing and also the dial that's going on there. Um, there is also... The secondary stamp, so if you want to add the wheel, which we did on ours, along with some other fun sentiments that are on here, so that is part of that. You get the main frame and all of the really cool pieces. So I did a lot of the die cutting ahead of time. Sorry, that glare is crazy. So we've got this beautiful tree. We have the lattice. You have some other fun things. And you have a whole bunch of really cool frames that you can use to make your stamp. You have, or sorry, to make your card. You have this beautiful, this is called Happy Blooms and Day Clouds. And what I love what she's done is not only the inside of the stencil all 
flowers, but she also has like clouds down here and clouds up here. So she's really used like every inch of the stencil for that. And then we have our paper collection. So I have this one pulled out to the side, but here is, I already have maneuvered some of them. So here is some of the beautiful papers. This is just the front cover, but just take a look at all of these gorgeous, gorgeous papers. They're so much fun. Some of these I've already kind of delved into for the cards. We're gonna be making one more card at the very end, but I didn't wanna dig into these papers too much. So that's why I haven't got the, some of the pieces. This one we used as part of the green. Look at this pretty one. Look at that beautiful blue and little bunnies here. And then there's the pink, which I've already cut some of this out. Um, the, the blue also, this big blue right here, that is part of it, but I already used up most of it. And then you also get this piece, which is where you can die cut out. And we're going to be using some more of these. And I did use a couple already for the sentiments. And then you get your cardstock bases. I mean, this bundle, it just keeps on giving. So you get some beautiful cardstock bases. I've already delved into a little bit of some. So you get four cardstock base colors, and then you get a series of four card bases. I didn't use these ones that way I could show you exactly with the envelopes. So I didn't delve into those too much because I wanted to make sure to show you what was in the actual little kit. And then if you wanted to, sorry, I shouldn't show that too much on screen, but if you get the bundle, then you can also um, collect the other fun items that there's other dies and things that go with that. So that's the bundle that we're using. So let me show you the card again and let's talk about how to build it. So that is an amazing amount of stuff that you're gonna get in just one little bundle. It's a big bundle. It's a very, very big bundle, but it's tons of fun. Okay, so this is the interactive card we are gonna make today. All right, so this is actually called the double dial dial, double die dial, double dial Crap, I can't say that. I'm having, I'm, let me look at this. <laughs> my, my brain's going, you want to say this word. It's the DDD mechanism, but it's called the, well, I'm not seeing it correctly here, but it's the double dial die. That's the right word. That, that's a mouthful in my mind. And all of these are from TLC Design. So this is all TLC Designs. You can see the really cool image right there. A link is down in the information section for you guys to jump over and check out all of their really cool products. There is two dies in here, but I actually have one that is covered up. So this is the what it looks like if I took all the stuff off of it. You have this mechanism right here, but you also have another one. But for this particular card, I'm going to show you how to use this without doing both of the movements, just one movement. Because for grins and giggles, what if you only want to have one moment? What if you don't want to do the other? So we're just going to use the sideways one, the one that does the, the jumping. So we're going to make our little bunny jump in our scene and just have tons of fun. Okay, so what I've already done is I've taken... And I'm going to show you because this is just too much to pull all the pieces. I've taken out one of the frames and I wanted my card to be an A2 size card because I still need to make some cards for my card swap, which is officially closed, but I wanted to make some more cards. And so I pulled out the blue and the green. So the blue is for the sky. The green is for the grass. And I pulled out one of the frames. And the reason for the little edge getting chopped off is because that is where your dial mechanism is going to go. You can really see it right here, too. So it's just where this dial is. If you had a full square, you could cut your own if you want to, but this fits perfectly in there. So that's why I'm using it. It already has the ability to have where that dial is gonna go. So that way you have that mechanism to move back and forth. So this is one mechanism. If you wanted to, so I, again, I pulled the papers, glued them together, die cut it out. So I did that step one. I did that before we went on air. And then you have the opportunity to have two different ways to do your mechanism. I like die cutting one of these little pieces out and I'm going to show you how to put it all together in a second. And I already lined it up and I already die cut it. So that way we wouldn't have to see all that. But what if you didn't want to have it mechanism going that way? What if you wanted to have the mechanism going a different way? You could have it lined up where it could go like this. I mean, there's lots of ways you could have the mechanism go here and you can have it go this direction, right? So now you've got two different directions because this can turn to have your pieces going other ways. And there's a lot of videos on TLC Designs about how to put these and how to use this particular dial system. So if you're good at it and you're like, I'm totally lost, there's lots of little step-by-step, -step, including this tutorial as well about how to put it together. Okay. So when I built this, I took my dial and I did cut two of them just because it gives it a little bit. And I'm gonna show you how to glue those together as well. I just placed this on top. So I actually went through and I did, okay, that's where I want that to go. I lined up the first dial and on this little mechanism here, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out so you can see it. 
there is a hole. So you want to line it up so this hole and this hole go together because we're going to wedge them together. We're going to put them together, right? So we want to have that lined up right there. All right, so now these pieces are out. I am going to keep these little pieces that are on the inside and I'll show you why as we get further into the card because I don't want to see the background and the background of my card is the, um, the craft paper and I don't want to see that through. I want to see just the colored paper. So I'm, you can hide it with the mechanism. So I'm going to just go ahead and put that back over there. All right, so now we're going to start building, putting everything together. There's two little pieces that you need to make this whole thing work. If you were going to do the third mechanism, you would need another one, but we're only going to do the only the diagonal, the slidey mechanism. We're not going to do them all. All right. So on top of the mechanism, just to pull this back in here, you have the dial. So I'm going to do two dials. So here's our two dials. You also have a series of washers. This little tool is only if you need to have some extra spacing, but if you're good on your spacing, and I'll talk about that when we put it together. And this little arm right there is if you're going to do this piece. If you're going to have a secondary movement go at the same time if you're not going to have the secondary movement you don't need that piece so we're just again we're doing the one movement today so i have cut out all my little washers and we only need three for this one because we're not doing as many so one thing i like to do is i like to build it from the front to the back so i take a washer uh, sorry i take a washer i take a brad where to go oh it flew it flew and here you go, you can see it right here. So I'm gonna, we're gonna build from this one. So this is the front of my card. I'm gonna take my brad and I'm gonna put a washer on it. I like putting washers pretty much everywhere between every gap. So actually, you know what? We're gonna use all four washers. There are four washers in the kit, but you can cut them as many times as you want. There's no limit. And I did have an extra one that I cut, so there we go. So washer, we're gonna poke it through right here, right there. Now we're going to flip this over and we are going to build our mechanism. Now, one thing I have not done yet is I haven't put the stamp on our little wheel. So we're going to glue these together and we're going to put our stamp on before we build the next thing. I'm just poking out the holes on these real fast. You guys are mighty quiet today. So all my little holes are poked out. I'm going to take my adhesive. So I'm going to use my Xyron sticker maker because I want this whole thing to be sticky. And I'm going to run it through. There we go. And that's just turning the whole thing into a sticker. So that way I'm not gonna have pieces that don't stick together. I just find this works a little bit better. You could use a wet glue, but I like the speediness of the sticky. So that's why I'm liking that better. So you just pull it off and now I'm gonna line it up. And there is a way for it to line up perfectly and a way for it to line up to be not so perfect. So we want it to line up pretty darn perfect. So that way all of our little holes line up right next to each other. So now this is just a little bit thicker. So I just run it twice and my mechanism is just a little bit more sturdy, right? So let's add the stamp to that. I already have my stamp. Well, I did have it, where'd it go? It was right here, I swear it was here. Buried under all the stuff, right? Oh, there it is, it slid off the desk. So in one of the stamps in the kit, and there's a few of these different stamps out there, there is this wheel right here. This wheel, which I have a stamp, reminds you that, hey, you can go and you can actually move this mechanism, right? So I'm just gonna add that to that stamp. So I just have, whoa. Oh, I'm so glad that didn't flip over the other way. <laughs> so we're gonna stamp this up, but everything was backwards except for that card, so it was okay. And you could get out your stamping platform, but this is just a pretty basic circle, so I'm not too worried about it. And you stamp the whole thing, even though you're only gonna see a portion of it, but then you know you're good doesn't matter where you're stamping so you don't miss it, right? All right, so that is stamped. I'll have to make sure I put that back. So I don't forget, I'm gonna put that there so I don't forget about it because chances are I might. <laughs> okay, so now that my little mechanism, my wheel mechanism is done, we're gonna go back to this. Okay, so reminder, let's go from the beginning so we don't lose our train of thought. Take your baby Brad and you know what? I have all of these little Brads left over from God knows what, so we're gonna save them. Grab a washer, which is part of the mechanism. So you just die cut out the little washer. It already has the hole in it and everything. Okay, run your brad through. Run it through the front of here. Ah, sorry. Run it through the front of here. Okay, flip it over. Now we're gonna take our mechanism stamp side down because we're looking at it upside down right now. Stamp side down. And just for grins and giggles, you can stick another washer on there. You don't have to, but I do feel that it just gives everything a little bit more of a, 
room to groove, you know, a little less issue with things aren't working. And this is really pokey and it's poking my fingers. Ow. <laughs> Sorry, that was really pokey. Now, one thing you don't want to do, and this is where the tool comes in. So in the die system, there's this little thing that actually says tool on here. You can put that in there and that reminds you not to um, push your brads down too tight because if you make your brad too tight, you're not gonna be able to turn your wheel and that's not good. You wanna be able to turn your wheel so therefore you have that mechanism move. If you pinch your brad too tight, it won't do that. So that's another reason why um, putting your washers on there is a good idea. It just gives that mechanism a little bit more space. All right, so now we have this thing, but it's just free floating, right? Like we've attached it, but it's not moving anything. So now what we wanna do is we wanna attach it to this mechanism. And I'm not worrying about this because this particular card, I don't want to have two pieces move. I just wanna have one. So that's the beauty of this particular stamp and die set or this die mechanism. I can either have both move, which just means I attach the other little piece right here and some more washers with another brad, or I can just do the first one and leave that one alone. It works just the same. So same as before, take a little brad, take the washer, run it through. Now I'm gonna go through the paper here, right there, right through that paper, flip it over. I'm gonna add another washer. And if you're concerned that you're gonna make your brads too tight, come on, go through, there we go. If you're concerned you're gonna make your brads too tight, use the tool. If you're not worried about the tool, if you know that you're gonna be a little bit less, you know, squishy with your brads, then just do it by hand. I think if you do it a couple of times, and I've made this card a couple of times, I kind of know, okay, that's about it. I mean, you could leave it a little bit open, flex it, but don't smash it down, right? All right, and there it is. I might have made that a little tight, so I'm just going to loosen that up a tiny bit. And there we go. I just made it less. If it's too tight, loosen it. It's as easy as that. This bundle is called Springtime. It's an awesome, awesome bundle. I'm just flattening it, and then I'm going to come in and loosen it up a little bit. It's called the Springtime Bundle, and it is located on the main page of the site. Let me pull out. It's on... Oh, that's Woodland Watercolor. So the name of the bundle is called Springtime Bundle, but you can buy all these pieces independently. But the bundle is a really good deal for getting all of these bits and pieces together, which is just really lots of kinds of fun. All right, so now that we have that, let's actually start putting the card together. So one thing you're gonna notice is we have a brad where we're seeing an object, right? That's where our bunny is gonna go. So our bunny is gonna attach to this piece, which allows it to move. So now we have this piece that's gonna move, right? So let's put this little guy away. But we also have this other brad, so you do want to cover it up with something. So that's where I put my sentiment, just to kind of cover that up. So I did a couple of different things to kind of hide some stuff. I also gave myself a secondary um, movement. So we're going to play around and show you how to kind of layer this up. Now, what I went ahead and did for one of the papers, and you can actually see this beautiful striped paper, which is the same striped paper we were using. I went the other direction with it. So I used some of that pink striped paper, which is in the collection, to create some trees. I also did it in white, and then I also did it in craft. So we're gonna build from here before we add it to the paper, before we add it to this, just for fun. Um, there we go. There is one other thing we're gonna do first. Remember I told you to save these little guys? Well, this is where it's gonna come in. So my base of my card is right here. There we go. And when you see the base of the card, do you see how right now I can see that craft paper popping through? I really don't wanna see the craft paper popping through. I don't like that. So we're gonna cover that up. And I could have done this before I did the mechanism, but it works just the same. So we're gonna take a little bit of glue and I just have, I love my Barely Art glue, it is awesome. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right where the mechanism is supposed to be. So this is about where this, you know what? We're gonna glue this down before we put all the stuff on, we're gonna glue this down. Cause then I don't, cause otherwise I'm gonna pick this up and put it down and then these little pieces might move. So we're gonna go ahead and glue this down and then we'll build just to be extra safe. Now, if you notice, if we add adhesive, flat adhesive to this entire back of the card, it's gonna stick flat. And if this entire card is stuck flat, this is gonna move. So we have to pop it up right? So just get whatever your favorite foam dots are, and you're going to want to run along the bottom. Now, I don't have to worry about this mechanism because we're not using that one for this card, All right? So we're good there, but I do need to worry about this mechanism. So if I put adhesive here, just to show you, then what's going to happen is that I'm going to hit a wall and I'm not going to be able to move. It's good if you want to stop your mechanism from moving too far, 
Same with if I put it here. If I put it here, I'm stopping my mechanism. You guys, that's really white on white, sorry. So I want to stay clear of everything in this space so my mechanism can move and I'm not inhibiting the movement of everything. But over here is fine. Over here is fine. We want to pop it up. Down here is fine. Again, I just don't want to inhibit any of this movement. So nothing around the dial. But I do want to add lots of foam dots to hold it up so it doesn't have a problem. Here is fine. And then we'll go right in here. Don't go too crazy, right? So there we go. So now I'm going to just check it again. Yep, I'm good. Now I am hitting a little bit of a wall because I cut paper and it's like two pieces of paper, but it's totally fine. I'm not too worried if it doesn't get too crazy. All right. All right. There we go. Now I'm just peeling off all of this extra tape here. There we go. And then we're going to glue it down to the card base. So yeah, the, the reason why I didn't want to put the little pieces in here, the ones I have right here, because if I put it down and I get it perfectly lined up and then I'm going to take it off, build it, and then put it back down, I might not put it down exactly in the same spot. So you'd see some of that craft paper that I don't want to see. So this is a way just to make sure I don't screw that up. Plus it needs to go down anyway, so it's no big deal. All right. So now I'm going to place this right in here, get it nice and centered. There we go. And just for grins and giggles, just so it's done, I'm going to go ahead and place it on my card base as well. And I just made all of my card bases an A2 size card just to make life easy. So it does fit into an A2 size card. My wheel on this one, I fit it just perfectly. So it does fit within the space. This one, I went a little further out. Either way works. It's up to you. The only reason why I went a little further out on this one is because here I could see some of that little peekaboo right there. And on this one, I wanted to hide it more within the tree. So that's why I shoved it over a little bit more, but whatever works. Okay. So now I have my windows. I'm going to drop the mechanism as far down as I possibly can. I'm going to come in with my glue and add a bead of glue going right through here, just right through there. And then I'm gonna line this back up. So it's hiding that craft paper. If the craft paper doesn't bother you or you wanna see it, then leave it. If you want to hide it, you already have these cut out. Grab your little pokey tool, make sure they get, whoops, don't knock your glue over. Poke this in here. Thank you for somebody who just said thumbs up to Aaron. Appreciate that. I've been worried about my son all day. He's taking his AP exam. I have three kids and they're all in Texas. That's where we live. And uh, everybody's taking their AP exams right now. Well, AP or star test. So I've got three kiddos, each taking a different test. My seventh grader is taking his uh, end of seventh grade math test. My daughter is taking her end of fifth grade math test. And my high school is taking his AP bio test today. And at first he's like, yeah, pick me up normal time. And then he texts me right um, so I'm just putting my pin back in my glue. It has to go at a certain angle. Otherwise, I always screw up the angle. Go in. Anyway, so he texts me right before the test started. He's like, um, it's not going to be normal pickup. So just let me know. I'll, I'll text you when it's time to pick me up. Because I think he was realizing the test was going to be a lot longer than he anticipated, which is good. He wasn't rushing himself. He doesn't need to rush himself. He's been working hard in that class. So, okay. So now we're going to start building. I'm trying to get my trees unstuck. Earth, get unstuck. Here we go. All right. So I cut out three beautiful trees. These trees, so just all of these little elements here. So I did three trees. I did a little garden trellis or the little whatever you want to call it. Um, what do you want to call that? <laughs> we did some, and I just stuck with all the same colors. I loved the the vibe of these colors together. Some little tulips, and I wasn't worried about if the tulips were the same color or not. I even did one out of the pretty paper, the shiny paper. So I may or not use all of them. Um, and then we also have our bunny. So here is our cute little bunny. And then I also cut out the hopping with happiness. So there was a couple of really cute sentiments. So these sentiments were on the side here. I used two of them. I love it when stuff is kind of already done for me. So it's all good. And then all of the stamps came from the stamp set that's part of the collection as well. See, it's all it's all in there. Let me pull out the stamps. So here we have a cutie bunny and then I didn't use the other ones. So I used one bunny for this one and I used the other bunny for that one, which are really cute. So this bunny is going to go here, um, but we want to cover up a few things. So we're going to move this out of the way. The first one we're going to do is we're going to add another layer through here so we can hide some of our little flowers off to the side. 
So we're going to put that there. It also goes over top of this. So I'm going to go ahead and add my adhesive. So it's all about kind of covering up and layering and making this and really building a scene. Fencing, that's the word. Man, I'm having a hard time with words lately. I don't know why. All right. So when I did the background for this, I used a full sheet of the blue and then I just cut a wavy line and then I die cut the whole thing so it looks like a rolling grass, right? So this was the other side of that that got chopped off at the bottom. So I saved it. So now this can go across here, create another layer and kind of cover up some of this mechanism. I don't want to go too crazy. I still want to make sure it turns. Look, we're still good. It's still turning. That's what we need it. And then take our scissors, which are buried under here. You guys should, I always say this. You guys should see the desk outside of the frame of view of all everything because it is just a mess. And I don't want it to go off into the space. So but it's just helping cover that up. So now I've covered up part of what we're doing over here. Now we're going to come in and add in our fencing. And our fencing is going to come right, I don't know. Let's, let's kind of build this. So this is going to go here, right? So it's going to go like right there. We're going to have our little bunny. And then we have all of our little tulips. So let's do our tulips and stuff first. So I don't want to put the crafting tulip on this so close to this side because then it's going to see the craft. I don't like that. So let's do the white one. No, let's do one of the pink ones. So we're going to put the pink ones. And for this, we're going to go back to our, I don't know why I put my pin back in there. I'm just going to use the glue again. A little bit of glue. Pop this in the back section. Okay. And then we're going to go, let's go in with the white one, but let's flip the white one and have it go the other direction for fun. So just layering it up. So yeah, Texas is almost done with school. We've got like three weeks left and it's the, the nitty gritty. Uh, I did get some glue on the back side of my card. It's okay because it's just going to dry clear. All right, so now I can come in and add. So now I've got two layers, right? So I can come in and I can add some more layers, of these pretty flowers right there. So I think I like that. So let's come in and add those. Just a little bit to glue. We don't need to go crazy here. I'm just going to briefly lift this up so I can tuck this in. I did have to stick it down so I kind of knew where I was going. And I don't mind the, the pink on pink because they are two different colors of pink and I'm cool with that. I need more glue there because it's not sticking down. Thank you, Lisa. She says they're cute. I agree, it's very cute. <laughs> and then we're gonna go the other direction and it's cool to like overlap your flowers. So if you wanted to cut these out of white and then color them in, you could totally do that. But I thought, you know what? There's all these beautiful pattern papers and colors. I did add the craft car stuff. The craft is not part of this. But if you wanted to just die cut out the pieces and then layer it, it just has a kind of a cool effect. All right, let's go ahead and add our bunny. No, let's do the fencing. Now that I know the word. <laughs> okay, so let's add our fencing. I think our fencing should go maybe about there. And then this little just goes over here. So the camera kind of building. And I want the fencing to lay as flat as possible. So that little flower needs to go down. All right, so let's add our fencing. Again, we're just going to add our glue to the back. It will dry clear. So if I end up adding too much, it's fine. There we go. I wasn't squeezed. I always have to be careful. I don't want to squeeze too hard. It's still a pretty full bottle. And I can always go back and tack in some extra if I want to. So I mix and match glue and all different kinds of adhesive and have fun. So now when the bunny comes down, I'm not worried about the two layers of paper because it's just going to kind of tuck in and that's fine because I don't want it to go all the way down. So that totally works for me. Now we're going to add in our bunny and we're going to add in our element on top. And the best thing to do for those, we're going to use our glue again. So let's hold off to the side is go back to your foam tape. So I like to take a little bit of foam tape and I like to go on either side. I have also seen people do this where they'll make the little circle a little bit bigger, which is totally fine too. I need to make that a tiny bit smaller. So I kind of make like a little ball around this. I go on one side of the circle. I go on the other side of the circle. So I'm kind of going on either side and then I'll take that tape off. And then I place the bunny. And so let's check the mechanism, make sure it's moving. It got a little stuck. And then now I can arrange the bunny. So now it looks like the bunny is jumping into the fence, like it went from the tree to the fence. This bunny looks like it's jumping from the fence going up towards something. So it's just different mechanisms of how you want to use that. So this one's kind of like diving into whatever. 
it's kind of cute. And if you wanted to, like in the stamp set, there were, I did have carrots, but I decided I didn't know. I didn't, the carrots look funny, so I didn't do that to me. It's just where I was going with it. Now we're going to put the hopping with happiness on here. Now, if you remember, there's that little brad right there. So I don't want to get into where that brad is. I'm going to go and I'm going to put the foam dots just on the opposite side of the brad. But I don't want to ruin the mechanism, so I can't put anything there. So I'm just going to kind of go around the brad. So when this sticks, it's the same height as the brad and not sticking too high up. Pull our foam tape off of there. So that way you can kind of cover that little piece up. Oh, stick down there. Stay. Not to my finger. Stay to the paper. And then that goes there. So there's lots of ways that you can cover up where that little mechanism is. You can put your sentiment there. You can have all kinds of fun. And let's just double check everything is good. And we're good to go. All right. So now we're going to put our trees in here. And we're done with our double-sided foam tape. So I'm just going to stick it back on my sheet for now. And let's go ahead and layer it. Now, on this one, what I did is I did the craft, and then I did the white, and then I did the pink. So maybe we'll switch it up a little bit, and I'll do the white. Oh, shoot. I shouldn't have done that. We're going to take the hopping off because I got to put the tree on first. I'm a goofball. Let's take those off. That's easy fix. Forgot that I needed to do the tree. And we're going to trim the tree. See how the tree goes underneath? That was another reason why for having the element there is it hides the bottom of the tree, right? So I'm not worried about covering this piece up because it's not something I wanted to see anyway. It's I just wanted the bunny to hop. I didn't want to have the other mechanism. So we're going to start building and kind of covering up. And it's also, if you look at this one, I did cover up part of the mechanism on this one because we don't want the bunny to go too, too high. So we do want this to glue down quite low. So we're going to go ahead and put the white on first. So do you have to use the entire mechanism or both mechanisms? Nope. Make the card as you want. We're doing an amendment, a little tweaky, tweaky to the mechanism and having fun with it and just showing parts of it. You know. A baby jump, not a not a full jump. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to have this layer right here. We're going to actually cover this up right in the center, and then we're going to build off of that, which means we are going to go into this a little bit, and the top of my tree, I'm going to shove this down. Again, it dries clear, so we're good to go. Okay, and then have this fully, fully down. So we just got a baby jump with the, with the bunny. Got to add some glue here so it doesn't pop out. There we go. Don't be afraid to cover up mechanisms. You don't have to use the whole thing. And it's cool to have it kind of come off the page, do its whole thing. So that's the first layer. I think I like the idea of the pink at the very, very top. So now we're going to add the second layer. So this is, I mean, to me, that looked too plain. It was like, oh, there's just not enough to this one tree. I was like, well, what's stopping me from doing multiple trees and layering, layering, layering? And I really like the look of the three. Two was not quite enough. So now we're going to do the next tree and we're just going to have it be a little bit off centered from that. So notice it's just a little bit of a layer. Add our glue to that tree and you could go as many layers as you want. You could go back to white again. So it looks like you're in a forest, right? I got that there's a whole den of trees. A den, haha, -ha, bunny den. Did you catch that? And we are going to clean up the bottom piece in a minute. We're just not there yet. All right, so now we're going to do this forest of trees. That's what I call it, a forest, right? And I'm going to go ahead and snip these because we're not going to see them anyway. Because remember, we're going to put this right here so that gets covered up, right? So it kind of covers up that piece. I need to add, there we go. And then we're going to go in with our last one. And I love the look of the stripes in there. It just has a little something to it. I was debating if I wanted to use some of the other pattern paper that had like flowers on it or something. And I was like, no, I kind of want more of a solid color. But you know, you do you when it comes to your card. Have fun with it. You can definitely play around and do as you wish. So adding some more dots of glue. And then stick that down. Whoops. Don't stick to my fingers. Stick to the card. Here. Really get on there. So look at that. This one, I made it look a little bit more like layer layer. This one, I went a little bit more, all kind of stuff. Thank you. It's, you know, sometimes you look at a card and in your head, at least when I come up with a design, I'm like, I want it to look a certain way. And when I had just the single look of the one tree, I was like, that's just not enough. And then same with the plants, like the flowers over here, one looked funny. So add more. Sometimes if you just add more to it, it really makes the big difference. Okay, so now we're going to layer this back up here. So we're going to go in with our foam tape again. So we're going to add that there, a little bit more of some more foam tape to right here. 
to make sure it sticks. If this is part of the reason why I added the, um, the sentiment in this corner, because this was just like a funky corner. It was missing something. There was something weird. The video quit. I mean, the video quit. The video quit. Everything looks live on my end. I'm not sure what you mean by the video quit. I can see everything on my end. Yeah, let me get this stuck on here. The video quit. Hmm. Shouldn't have quit. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do a little. Somebody's saying that somebody's still saying, okay, can you let me know? Are you watching? Where are you watching from? And let me know what you're seeing. Instagram, you guys are still live over there. So everything is looking good there. Um, Facebook and so forth looks good. I'm just going to do a little bit of troubleshooting over here. It says the joys of being live. Very strange. Everything's looking fine on my, nope. Okay. So I'm seeing me live on TLC designs. YouTube looks fine. I'm not quite sure. Everybody's face. Okay. So far I'm good. So maybe it's on somebody. Else. I'm not sure. So everything's telling me everything's okay. So I'm assuming we're going to keep trudging forward. Um, I'm checking myself out. Maybe it needs to be not sure what you're seeing. Okay. Sorry. Uh, Tammy, I don't know what's going on on your end, but everybody else is doing okay. So I'm not quite sure where that's coming. All right. So that is our card. That fun with that little piece on there. All right, so there is the mechanism. It's just a little baby hop. And again, if you want to change it up and have a little bit of a different with the other mechanism on there, there's lots of videos on TLC Designs. But now let's build another card, another fun fold card, and they're like variation, now that these guys are done. But see, that's not so bad, right? You just gotta die cut all the pieces and then the assembly goes really smoothly. And then it's just like building your scene or building whatever you want. And then you have a little fun thing like the bunny hopping. All right, so let's move this one off to the side. This next card is fun and I didn't get all the pieces trimmed. Sorry, wasn't quite there. So we're gonna take a eight and a half by five and a half. So this is eight and a half by five and a half sheet of paper. And we're gonna use all the beautiful pattern papers that are in this kit. Sorry, I'm trying to get my glue back in here with the pin because I will forget and then I'll lose my pin and it'll just be a nightmare and a half. Ah, so I'm going to put this back in here, okay. Cause that is just not so much fun. All right, let me grab all my pieces. I just want to double check. Are you guys watching YouTube from my account? Cause I also want to check that one as well. So just checking to make sure we're good over on my account as well. I'm assuming it's looking good. Everything. That's very strange. Yeah, no, my, I'm live on there too. So not sure. Okay, so all good. So maybe just cut out for a quick second for her. All right, so now we have this card here. We're gonna do a couple of scorings. So when I score a card, I like to score it with my paper trimmer. I don't get anything else out fancy except for my paper trimmer. And I just open up that bar, grab my scoring tool, which, here we go. I can't find my other good Teflon one. So we're gonna use this bad boy. So I have this, oh, here it is. Get your bone folder or, or your Teflon scoring tool. The first score mark we're gonna make is at two inches. I've done this card before and I just saw all the elements in here and thought, well, this would be a really fun card to make with this. So this is for all the extra bits and pieces you might have. And I'm doing it on a craft paper for fun. So the first score mark is at two inches. The second score mark is at three and one eighths. So three and one eighths. The next score mark is at five and three eighths. So five and one, two, Three eighths. There we go. And then I'm gonna pull out my bar so I can get a little further. And then the last one is at six and a half. So six and a half right there. Or if I flipped it around, the other way to look at it is that this one would be back to two inches. So if I didn't want to remember all of them, it's two inches scored and then three and one eighth scored and then do it to both sides. However you want to look at that. That's it. That's as hard as that one gets. <laughs> and then now we're going to run, oh, I got to use my paper trimmer because I didn't trim off the papers. And I'm going to leave you guys up. I'm going to score this, but I want you guys to pick. We're going to pick two sheets of paper to do this. And I'm going to put all the sheets of paper out. This is where we're going to go. So we've got the beautiful purpley pink flowers. We've got the orange, I, like I wouldn't put these two together. So maybe I'll do color collections. So we'll either pick that pair 
we can pick the orangey pair. Okay, so we have blue pair, orangey pair. We have, um, oh, we have like a pinky pair. I'm trying to find similar. And then we could go like the yellowy pair, yellowy orange. Oh, ooh, I think I like this better together. And I like that better together. All right, so we've got, let me know. We're gonna go with pink, yellow, blue, or orange. So pull out a color. I'm gonna look at Instagram and give you guys a second while I'm doing the score. You guys, so while those are out, orange, blue, yellow, pink, tell me what you wanna go. All right, so while that's happening, let's do the scoring. So we're gonna score here, we're gonna score here, okay? And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna score here and we are gonna score here. So I see blue so far. So blue is the first one that people are commenting on. I'm now gonna go back and I'm gonna go the other side and just, I like this double score everything. If you wanna get your, um, your bone folder in here, your Teflon folder in there and really give all your good score marks, go for it. You guys probably have seen me make this card before. This is not a new design and I did not come up with it. All right, we got one blue, we got one yellow. It's gonna be majority wins here. So let's see if Instagram has an opinion. Nobody has commented yet. So we got one blue, one yellow. Oh, yellows are, we got three yellow votes. You guys can't pick two things. Come on. <laughs> yellow seems to be the big winner. So nobody's picking orange yet. So I'm going to pull orange out of the mix because it doesn't have enough votes. We have uh, one pink, no, we have two pinks. Blue only got one vote. So we're down to these two. Yellow so far in the win. I think yellow is going to be the big winner for today. All right. So either pink or yellow. So far, yellow is winning. All right, so here we have our card. And basically how this works is you're gonna take this fold, okay? So it's like you make, create like a little fold here, a little fold here, okay? And you fold it in, oops, other way. You fold it up. There it is, okay? So see it again? That middle section, this section comes up right there. So this part comes up and this is the base of our card. So again, you probably have seen me make this card before. This is not new, but this is a great way so when you have all these beautiful pattern papers, you're like, what am I going to do with these pattern papers? This is one of those cards that really works for that. And I'm seeing that yellow is our big winner. So we're going to go with yellow. So now we're going to trim off our sides. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the yellow for the outside pieces and the whitish one more for the inside piece. Okay. And the nice thing about this paper is we've got birds on here. You guys see little bird clusters. It doesn't matter which way, some birds are gonna be upwards and some birds are gonna be downwards. So it doesn't matter which way goes where, it's all good. All right, so for the sides, we need to trim, first of all, we're gonna, well, one and three fourths. There we go, and we need two of them. So that's for one side, one and three fourths. And there's still plenty of paper left over for another card. So you thought, oh, you had yellow and pink together. Well, we're gonna use this. And then we need to trim this to be five and one fourth. So a little bit of a trimmy trim there. I decided not to trim the whole thing because that way I would be cutting into all of the paper. So I cut my two side pieces first and then went from there. Okay. And then we'll do this one. This one does matter because if I have it go this direction, the trees are all sideways. So I do have to think this way when it comes to it. So I'm gonna trim the, the tallness first, which is two inches. So I'm going to trim all of that, and then I'm going to trim it for how tall it is, which is five and one fourth. There we go. So that is now the center. But you guess what? Get your own kit, and you can make this card, and you can pick whatever color combinations you would like. However floats your boat. But this is one way that you can use all those pretty papers you have, or if you get this kit, how to use all the papers together. So those are going to go there. This one is going to go in the center. Look how pretty it's looking. And I love it on craft. And this, I like this on craft more than white, mostly because some of the papers already had a white base. But because there's like these little hints of this like dark brown and all these other colors, like it just, the craft paper really just lends to be really pretty in this. So I'm going to flatten the sucker out so I can add all my elements. So here we go. So we're going to put this right in the center. So we can still see all that craft. If you wanted to put another panel there, we could. Yeah, maybe we will. We have more. I didn't do a very good job, so I'm fixing it. There we go. You can't really see that panel, but we could. I'd have to measure it. I don't have that measurement written down. 
and then we'll put one there and then the one in the center and then you know what just because it lends so well and pink was a big winner for our second place let's pick one of the pinky ones where to go dun, 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 dun. okay we did that why don't we pick this guy to go in the center there so i think that would look really pretty right there or we could do nah we're gonna do that one okay so let's measure i know it's five and a quarter tall but let me measure the width so i don't get off on that so the width for that is one and one eighth so i need to do seven eighths this is really skinny seven eighths of an inch that's skinny 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 that's okay we just want a tiny bit and again this is one where it really doesn't matter because everything is in every which direction so we're going to do seven eighths of an inch which is tiny oh i did that wrong i did six eighths so i'm going to do six i got to do two i made that one too short so seven eighths is just there we go that one's the wrong measurement and then i got to go five and a quarter they are such beautiful papers and you know i keep going oh i don't want to cut from that end and oh so i cut from the darker end on that one i'll cut from the lighter end on this one just for fun so if you've got paper scraps this is a great one for that or for this awesome kit all right so now we're going to layer this up here again i'm not worried about what goes where maybe because i have them one light and one dark i'm going to flip them so since i did with the light on the bottom let's put the light on the top just so it looks a little bit different there so now there's our whole panel so look how fast that went right super easy and i did all the cutting with you the only thing i didn't cut with you was the the paper itself so now this folds up like that pretty easy and then in the card kit itself we had these really fun little panels so maybe this yellow one let's try that and i think i'm going to try to keep a little of that pink in there so i'm not going to go too super close i'm going to keep it a little bit wider to get that little extra pink frame so it looks like it's got a border around it so it looks like i put it on a white on like a pink sheet of paper so that way you don't have pattern paper on pattern paper even though it's stripes it still has a hint of a pattern so it's almost like adding an extra double mat so it's kind of cool in that respect and then just trim around trim around here i love it when like a lot of the stuff is given to me and I don't have to go and like hunt down somewhere else. And if you're just like not in the jam for stamping and you're just wanting to like fussy cut, this is a great kit. And I almost like, like do I do it that way? I think we're going to go this way with it. So that's going to be our center. So now it's tying in. Look, that same paper is in there. Oh, I'm glad to see it. But if we'd done a different color, we could have gone with that one or that one. Or we could have gone with that one. Any of them work. And then we are going to add in a bunny. So pink bunny. Does pink bunny work? I think pink bunny is going to be cute you can put whatever you want in there sky's the limit but we're going to do a little pink bunny you could stamp an image you can do all kinds of stuff so we're going to just going to do a quick circle on this but all the coloring and everything was already done for me so i'm just utilizing what is already there being quick about it i'm surprised my dog is not going crazy with the amount of times i've said the word bunny on this video because he, and what's funny about it, so he is a golden retriever, lab, and a shepherd mix. He's a mutt. But those are like his three dominant ones. And he doesn't go hunting them to be malicious. He hunts them, and then he just likes to carry them around in his mouth as if it's a little prize. And he gently holds them in his mouth. And then just is like, Mom, look what I brought you. <laughs> okay, so notice how I only put the adhesive right in the center, because if I went on the sides when I put this down, it's going to make the whole thing stick together. I'm going to go straight in the center with that. So if you notice, see how like this is now open, right? And then we're going to do, since I've got pop dots, we're going to pop our little bunny off up in the center. Since I already have my adhesive up, we're just going to pop our little bunny. Because why not? And then we'll see. We got the ribbon. Let's see if we can figure out how to put the ribbon. I don't know if the ribbon's going to work. But you could put, nah, I'm trying to think. It would, it would cover up part of the bunny and it would look funny. So 
It'd be a funny bunny. <laughs> Just funny bunnies. But you could obviously have a ton of fun with that. This is very pastel y, very, you know, chill, but you can come in. And you could add that almost looks really pretty just the way it is. I like almost like the whole ribbon. Do you guys like the jive like of all the ribbons together? It's kind of looking fun just as a combo piece. I'll leave it like that for now. I'll, I'm going to sit on that and decide if I like it. So look how quickly that one card went together. And it's just a great way to use pattern papers. Um, this was one I had made for an event. A uh, couple. When was this? When did I do this one? A couple of months ago. So I did this one a couple of months ago. And it's the same concept, you know, it just opens it up. Great way to use the pattern papers. But the real winners are the ones with the mechanisms because they're just too much fun. And how you have the hopping bunnies. See, and I'm not sure if it fits the setting. I don't think the bow works. That's why I didn't glue it down. I'm like, I'm gonna sit it there, but it looks kind of weird. I don't know. Sometimes you have to like put it there, step away from it and go, is that what I wanna do? Is that where I want it? And then if you're not jiving with it, if it's not working with you, then you can just leave it be. But you know, you kind of play with it, you know, or like, do I add oh, the blue ones not going to work? And I'll think, well, maybe the green. Nah, see, it's too much. You start playing around and it starts getting to be too much. So the mechanism here, super cute. Love the look of all these. So it's just, it's just fun. And look how easy that is. And the name is the name of the kit is called Springtime Kit. It's from TLC Designs. Link is in the information section. Let me go ahead and flip my cameras around for everybody here. Instagram, we're going to flip you here. Oops, there we go. Flip. Get Instagram back up. There we go. And then let's flip everybody else. Ta da! <laughs> I got to get better about the flipping stuff, but we'll get there. So, YouTube and Facebook, I got you guys down. Instagram is still working on trying to get all that so it looks more seamless. I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So these are the most beautiful cards. I just, I think there's just so much fun. I love just that fun mechanism. And it seems daunting. It seems like at first when I saw the dies, I was like, oh, I'm never going to understand that. What goes with what? But there are some really amazing videos that are on the TLC Designs website and YouTube channel. So check those out. Or you can come back and watch this one if you're interested in learning how to make it with just a single part of the mechanism and then like how to cover it up. It's totally cool. So it works in multitudes of ways. This one you can make all the pieces except for the craft paper are in the kit. So everything is there that you need to make this cutie little card. And then just as something fun, why not? Right? <laughs> so thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out TLC Designs, YouTube and Facebook. Check out Erin Remakes, YouTube and Facebook. And just also as a secondary announcement, I've officially launched, and I cannot believe we already had so many people, but there is only half the spots available. And what am I talking about? I am hosting an in-person retreat here in Central Texas. It's actually just south west of Austin in a place called Dripping Springs. We are going to have an absolute blast. Um, it is all going to be, everything's inclusive. We're doing card making, we're doing sublimation, we're doing vinyl, we're doing water marbling, we're doing ink blending, we're doing stenciling, we're doing a lot of really cool stuff. And everything is included, food, lodging, the whole thing. There is only, a, there was 12 slots available for the overnight for everything was included, including staying on the premise. And then we have our own house to ourselves, which includes an entire six by six table to yourself. And there's a whole bunch of extra tools and supplies in that craft room that you can play with because we do have downtime to play on your own. But half the slots are already gone. I cannot believe that. And I just announced it yesterday. There is also going to be four slots that are for day passes, which means that if you wanted to only come in for a day and do one single day, or if you wanted to um, travel in and stay at a separate hotel because we're fully booked up. There are four day passes and it goes from Thursday to Sunday and it is in August of 2023. All the details are down in the link in the information section if you're interested in coming and I would love to have you because it would be a ton of fun. So yeah, somewhere cool. Link somewhere. Link to Lisa. Which link? link to the retreat is down in the information section. So if you're on YouTube and Facebook, if you're on Instagram, the link is in my bio, but if I'm on YouTube and Facebook, a link is down in the information section and link to the kits and link to TLC designs is down in the information section as well. So just click more, click the little arrow, however you open up, depending on if your phone or your computer or what kind of phone you have, depends on how you can open up the info section. They're all a little bit different. So Thank you guys so much. Have an amazing day. Hopefully, fingers crossed, wish my son tons and tons of luck on his AP bio test. He is in the midst of taking it right now. And hopefully, I mean, we were quizzing each other over it. I used to teach that class. Um, so I, I, I think he's confident. 
it's so hard as a mom to be like, <laughs> but I think he's, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how he does, but you know, he was, he was all confident and very excited for the whole thing. So have an amazing day. Thank you guys so much. I'll be back again next week with a lots more fun stuff on the Aaron May Makes channel. And there's always new videos and content coming up on TLC Designs. So have fun, everybody. All right. Got to find the off button and there it is. Bye everybody.